Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is the part two of my massive Pokemon haul. But first we have this first item which is like this little um, Pokemon sticker type thing. It's like hard, it's like cardboard. It's really weird, um, but it's similar to the notebooks uh, from the last video. And here we have a bunch of Pokemon socks. Um, we have Pichu, we have Torchic, we have Mudkip. We have regular Pikachu as well. Uh, just a bunch of different characters. Um, I think these are really dope, but unfortunately they're way too small for me. Um, I think I'll probably like remove them if I try to put them on. Uh, maybe I'll give them to a cousin or something. But most likely I'm just gonna have to sell them online in person. And the second item is like a little Pikachu stationery type thing. It has a bunch of Pokemon and stickers on the inside of it. Um, it's pretty cute. And there you can see a reflection of myself. I should maybe edit that out. Who knows? I, I probably won't though. Moving on to our next item is really interesting and pretty unique. Um, it is a Pikachu um, toothbrush and um, toothbrush holder. It's like a thing to make sure that like your toothbrushes are not exposed to like the bathroom air. Um, there's a little piece of hair attached to the top of it, which is really nasty. Um, but it's a really dope, unique item. I really like the fat Pikachu design, even though he's a little um, thin. But yeah, here's an illustration of Ash and Pikachu on the back, and just instructions on how to use it. Um, a really dope figure, or not dope figure, but dope piece by Tommy. Here's this next item. It is a um, Pikachu like um, notebook holder, or just like a, a briefcase, but not actually, it's like soft goods. Pretty interesting item. Um, I wish it was a lot bigger. I wish it was for the gym. Like it seemed like it would be a really dope gym bag if it was like uh, a bit longer and wider. Moving on to a scarf that basically matches the um, bag that we just saw. Um, for some reason, it only has two out of the three starters. It has Torchic and Mudkip and Pikachu, but for some reason the grass type isn't here. Um, I don't know. It, Maybe because of the color scheme, uh, but I don't know. It's just really odd that a lot of like Pokemon merch just like leaves out um, one of the starters, like the notebook from the last video. It didn't have a Charmander, and this one doesn't have the grass type. It's just really odd, but it's unique, and that's kind of why I like it. you can hear the laptop fan um, my voice just cracked again hopefully you can't hear the laptop van fan because <laughs> um, I have them recording right next to my laptop and it's uh, pretty loud for me anyway here's a little um, Pikachu uh, pencil case or pen case holder for I don't know school or for work the plastic on the that was holding the case is basically falling apart pretty old vintage item has a bunch of like uh, designs of like Pokemon in gray. There you can see Mew and Mewtwo on it. Pretty unique item. Uh, it seems to be very old. Um, luckily for me, there's like a foam padding on the inside of this item to keep the shape of the pencil case. Moving on to these figures. I'm not gonna keep too many of them. I think only two. Um, there's a bunch that I'm debating whether or not to keep, but here you can see the full lineup for the set, and I'm just pointing out the ones that I'm probably going to be keeping. And this red thing, I, I don't know what it says, but it seems like it's for, I don't know, reclaiming something of some sort. Uh, I still need to do Google Lens on the last video and on that little red tag at the end. And Snorlot is one of my favorite Pokemon, but unfortunately he's just way too small. Um, I don't really like his evolved forms. They're kind of ugly to me. Uh, the original, the first evolution, or the first step in the evolutionary chain is super cute, but they kind of just kind of just get really ugly in the later evolutions. So I'm probably not gonna be keeping it, um, just because it's way too small for my collection of Figma Pokemon trainers. Some some of the ones that I'm willing to keep more like undersized, definitely, but. They're just, they're just way too um, small, these like bigger figures. Like, 
um, Sharkpedo is just way too small. And especially since I have the Jazz Wires alternative, which is like way bigger and it looks way better. Um, I'm gonna be keeping these two from the set. Um, you can see the cast form um, sunny version in the back, um, the fire version in the back, really dope. Um, use of clear plastic. And here I'm just measuring out um, the figure just to see like how big it scales up to um, the Figma, just for people at home who are interested in this figure as well. Um, like all the other figures, the paint is really well done, especially for something so small and precise as these figures. And here, I really love Bulbasaur and his evolutions, Ivysaur and Venusaur, but um, these are just really small. Their poses are really good, um, but they're just way too small for my collection. Moving on, we have this plush Pikachu keychain thing. And it's supposed to have this like electronic speaker thing inside of it so that way when you squeeze it it says pika and a bunch of other phrases um just variations of pika pika uh really dope vintage keychain plush thing i feel like so many pikachu products come with like a little electronic on the inside so that way you can hear them speak and no other pokemon really gets that kind of treatment moving on is this vintage um kind of like a video game magazine um from japan this one has a focus on pokemon nintendo i'm not sure what the second part is in um katakana or kanji or whatever it is but yeah you can see the front is kind of falling apart um the staple is kind of tore at the front cover but here you can see a bunch of like vintage pokemon designs and artwork and just like information about the game in Japanese and about the characters. You can see screenshots of the game and fan art from the fans. And this is something that I thought was really cute. This like 3D um, and like drawing design of Pikachu and Polyworld. And here's an advertisement for the Card Captors video game and some movie advertisements. bunch of like vintage Japanese video game stuff and on the back you can see there is the Star Wars stuff advertisement for the pod racing game this is a pretty underwhelming item I'm just gonna throw to the side pretty quickly but it's a Mew coin purse and tote bag um, pretty girly design but pretty unique as well this is a really dope item that I've been wanting for a bit this is a lantern um, is it a lantern? I forget what its Pokemon name is. But I basically wanted a water electric type Pokemon. And uh, this fits my needs perfectly. This is the monocle, I believe. Uh, I just need to fix that second antenna to be more straight and not in the way as much. And this is a really dope item. It is a Gachapon uh, Pokemon uh, figure scale. Um, really dope. The turning mechanism actually works. They're supposed to be like capsules like tiny little capsules inside and it comes with one pokeball pokeball is a little too big for like figma um pokemon figures but it's still pretty dope and fits in with like other figures if you're interested in that and here is a pikachu and pichu uh, stamp really dope item um pretty unique uh, but definitely not worth what i paid for it which i think was like five bucks or three bucks i'm not quite sure and here we have a Pikachu towel, like a bath tower, or maybe it's for the kitchen, I'm not quite sure. And on the other side we have a um, tote bag that comes along with it. Um, this bag has Pikachu Chimchar, <laughs> um, Piplup, and Turtwig. I'm like starting to like doubt myself whether or not that's his actual name. And in here you can see the Pikachu towel design as well. Um, that's pretty much it for this video thank you very much for watching here's the lineup of figures that we have so far that we're going to be keeping um coming up next is going to be my uh, met uh, tutorial how i modeled a classic mega man met and then after that is going to be part three of my pokemon haul thank you very much for watching